There's only one place left. If they extend machines here, that is the only plan. I bite my lip. I've come this far without making any decisions. There have been opportunities to kill them along the way. And here I am, still part of their group. Yuma, you're sure the machine part is up ahead? I do not know, and I cannot guarantee that. A careless reply. At this point, I cannot be bothered to dispel or deflect their doubts. Yuma. At the very least, it seems like there's definitely a machine part here. Look. Zen Kubata produces some sort of document that has turned brown with age. Ryo Mikajime takes it in his hands and narrows his eyes. Let's see here. How to install the extend machine. Extend machine? Yeah. Keep reading, Ryo. Oh, wait a sec. Damn it. I hate thin fonts like this. <laughs> thin fonts. I wonder how it is in Japanese. Is it like... Is it like, like in English or something? It's like has a hard time reading it or... I don't know. Here, here. Let me, let me read it. Hoto Higurashi sighs, then reads the document handed to him. How to install the extend machine. The extend machine being installed on the ship is a new type of clone regeneration device. The extend machine has successfully generated clones faster than the old clone regeneration device. Oh. Okay, so there's multiple extend machines. Which makes sense. As we saw, you know, in that little cutscene that they were trying to make extend machines in the first place. They were probably mass produced or something, maybe. I don't know. In the near future, this technology is sure to be a great source of revenue for Mashuo Group. However, there are still obstacles to overcome. One of them being instability, or in other words, a highly inefficient yield rate. Currently, generating a single clone also creates several units worth of waste. Waste reduction is necessary from cost and ethics viewpoints, and is the next major issue to resolve. I wonder what they mean by waste, you know? Therefore, to use it on this ship, the flow of waste management must be established first. Staff members have to follow their superior's orders. And that's where it cuts off. Where did you find this, Zen? Back where we found the key to that door. It was just sitting there like someone wanted us to find it. Why did you tell us back then? <laughs> Sorry. I can't believe forgot because Kurose attacked us. Oops. <laughs> what was what this expression? I'm just the weird baby. Whoop de doo, whoopsie doozy. Why did you make it sound like you ain't telling the truth? If this knows to be believed, it seems highly likely an extend machine has parts are somewhat aboard the ship. Were all the machines we found in ruins put there by Yuma's company? I'm sure Mashiro Group was involved in some way or another. Oh yeah, well, I guess I forgot, but you know, there are like, well, we, we've seen an extend machine actually in every ruin, you know? Every time we fight uh, like a, the final boss in each stage, there would be an extend machine. It'd be broken and we just, you know, pick like a part, you know, the little, uh, little buttons, I guess. But yeah, there, there is like, we've seen them before already. Anyway. Of course, I did not know about the existence of that note or the extend machine. But what is the point in trying to explain that now? Excuse me, but there's something about that note that's bothering me. What was all that about instability and creating waste? So, they did mention something about making a lot of waste for each clone. Oy, oy. That old machine isn't gonna break on us, is it? I'm getting worried. Demo. But we're, we've extended plenty of times, I haven't seen any sort of waste. So, yeah, there hasn't been any. Any... Hmm, wait a minute. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing's happened so far. <laughs> Besides, the extend machine is beginning more and more features to get more machine parts. <sighs> Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean we're in the clear. <laughs> You're such a worry ward, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Stress is bad for your hair, you know. <laughs> what does my hair have to do with this? Well, he does lose his hair every time. Every time he goes into senior uh, phase, I guess, he always loses all of his hair. Now that everyone's on the same page, let's move up. Right, madam? He shows me his usual nonchalant smile. Zen Kobata. The man who cursed his own father. My polar opposite. But maybe... I'm envious of that smile. Hmm. Yeah, anything else? I guess that's it. We just open the next door and we continue on. Like so. Whee! Uh-oh. Monsters. Ah! <laughs> Ah! What do you mean? Ah, oh, ah, get out of the way. Alright, well. Because that guy has a ranged attack. 
戦力で狙いは決めた。Okay, you're dead. Good. Another one somewhere. Close the door real quick and do a little rest, you know? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? I gotta, like, I can't get out of here. Hopefully, Sashika doesn't die. Okay. The heck? I guess they. Okay, I guess there was still an,、uh, a creature behind us. Well, now I'm safe, but there was a creature behind us, and I guess when you're resting, they're kind of like, you know, they home in on your location. Good thing Sashika didn't die. And now we need to heal up or eat up a little bit. So I'm running out of jerky, you know? My jerky. Not my jerky. Ow. Oh, there's an iron fence. That's good. I need that. Okay, you're dead. I feel, I feel like a boss fight is coming up pretty soon, you know. Boss fight is gonna be nearby. I feel like. Are we ready for that? I don't know. Last boss fight we did, we, 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 we won, but. It's mangled like it was choked. We won that boss fight, but it, it took us. It took two of us out, so. It's tied shut, but it's very stinky. They, well, I mean, they did say something about waste, you know? When you make the extend machines? Is it, is it that? Is it just garbage? At least in potatoes, I guess. Potatoes. Yum. Yum. Yuma is allergic to potatoes, but I believe she's immune to it now, yeah. Because she did die from eating a potato off screen. But she got the shikibane from the from that, so she's like, she can she, she eat potatoes now. Anyway, let's see. No one needs to go to the washroom? Alright, let's go. Getting a little older. Ow. Alright, so we're back here. So that's good. I like the, the auto save, is nice, by the way. Oh, I'm still getting attacked by this plane. Ah, help! Ah! Ah.、Uh, uh, where do I go again? Oh, yeah. I was running around before the power went out. Uh, do I hit this again? Ah! Okay. Was that the fake switch? I don't know if that switch did anything. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's, that's a very nasty room. What the heck? It was so nasty that my power went out, you know, when I was being attacked by these spikes. I got killed. Like in real life. Anyway, hopefully, again, hopefully my power doesn't go out again.、Uh, hopefully the recording is fine. I should be okay. I'll have to check after I'm done. Stream, but anyway,、uh, okay. So we went past the spikes, got over here. There's extend TVs, probably this is the, probably the, the boss room. Uh, oh, well, there's a monster here, actually. <laughs> eh, get, get out of here. Stop it. I need a place to rest in order to heal my 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 wounds. My wounds. Oops, I mean, do that. Oh,、uh, I will activate the cutscene. I'm, I'm activating the cutscene after、um, as I'm fighting the enemy. I wish the game doesn't do that because I was trying to dodge it and I guess sucked into a cutscene. I guess we'll watch this first. You know, we'll continue with that later. Okay. Oh! The Renju is back with his wife? Maybe? I don't know. 
<laughs> Your dancing has been improving. Thank you, fa thank you, father. Oh, it's Yuma. Okay, I thought it was her, his wife, but it's just Yuma again. Is it true you're ending the clone research? Oh, he's alive, which is weird. I thought he would just get killed by the doctor. You know, the doctor would be like, mm, I'm a mad scientist, time to kill you now. Yes, Bonnie will be disbanded as well. Bringing someone back to life was never possible in the first place. I thought I was using him, but it was really the other way around. He turned her into such a hideous thing. No, that wasn't her, absolutely not. What could have happened? He invested in such vast amounts of funding all that for the clone research. You see, I've come to a realization. It's you who I need, Yuma. Moving forward, I want you to support me even more than you've been. Father. The hem of my dress has become frayed. Now we can't have you looking like this. Go to the dressing room and change. I will help you pick a dress. How's this? Yes, it's just as I thought. It looks great on you. Moa loved the color of dresses too. I would like to try a different one. What? Are you saying I'm wrong in picking this dress? <laughs> Very well. If my lovely daughter wishes it, I'll choose another. Oh, <laughs> what? Ah! It's, it's a... This is a very interesting way to die. It's just randomly, some guy hides in the dresses this whole time just to stab this guy. Father. What? Who are you? There's a man doing his job. I'm sure you can think of someone who may want you dead. Okay, so he does end up dying. <laughs> oh, there are too many to count. Father. I'll get you the doctor. No, it's too late. He must have used poison. That's why he left without finishing me off. Oh no, who would do such a thing? Considering the timing, it must have been someone who didn't want money disbanded. Terashima? No. <laughs> Hold on, the doctor, I will go to- It's fine, Yuma, but there's something I need you to do. What is it? Destroy money. The device, the clothes. Eradicate everything related to the clone research. Yes, father. The president's will is the will of the Mashiro family. I will destroy the clone research no matter what. So, so please. <laughs> there you are, Ma. What? You look lovely in that dress. I picked for you. They're all waiting for us. Come, let's dance. Father, but I'm the one who's here by your side. Yes, let us go, Renji. Of course. Okay, so that's why... That was his dying message, I guess. That's why he wanted uh, Yuma to kill all the, destroy all the clones, I guess. That's where it comes from. I do not need my own will. My will is that of Renji Mashiro's, because I am but his doll. There you go. Heiress of Gluttony. Uh, what's up, Acorn? You haven't been around, but you keep coming on YouTube, yeah? でも、Okay, I don't know. Is that like a sports call? Is it like in a sports thing? Anyway. He makes too many references to this show character. Alright. The time has finally come. My objective, my mission, has all been exposed by Extend TV. This destroy everything related to clone research. So that's been your objective all along, Yuma. That trouble with Kurosuke wasn't a coincidence, was it? You purposely tried getting us all killed. Well, you're still on intending on killing us all. Zen! We can't have her getting in our way in the upcoming fights. 
It may be better to restrain her, but turn into an XG just to be safe. What are you saying? We can't do that! If you're going to kill me, do it already. What? Mamoru Ichio is right. I intended to have you all killed by Kurosuke and the other creatures here. That was my promise to my father. That was my everything. But now I do not know. Father only made money for himself, not for Mashiro Group for his own selfish reasons. Just to bring back one person, my mother. Do I still follow his will? Must I still follow my mother's teachings? Even though he never once looked at me for who I was. If you kill me, I will no longer need to think about any of it. Yuma, no, that's not okay! Let's fight together! Because you love us, Yuma. <laughs> I do. You had plenty of chances to kill us all. <laughs> this is a funny way to say that. While we were sleeping, extending, going to the bathroom, or even eating. But you didn't, because you love us, right? Even when you tried getting Kurosuke to kill us, you still had your doubts. Otherwise, none of us would be alive right now. I see. So that's why I cannot lie to them. Deep down, I cannot bring myself to betray them. It is simple, really. I tried using Kurosuke because I did not want to get my hands dirty. Because I was afraid to kill those who I love with my own hands. But... A doll. I am Mashiro's doll. There is nowhere left for me now that Mashiro's gone. To fulfill my father's wish, that's my sole reason for living. You belong with us. Everyone here has even accepted me. What? Huh? Did I just... Weird. <laughs> it even accepted you, but you didn't, we didn't do your dungeon yet. Brinko, but I don't know anyway. I think the creature related to Yuma's conquest video is up ahead, so we need your help. Science, Yuma, now that your father's gone, you're the president of Mashiro. You got a duty to decide what's right. Show us how prideful Yuma Mashiro is. Alright. Is it? Is it? Oh, 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 yeah, I gotta kill. Uh, 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 wait, I can't go that way. Okay, just don't get hit. Okay, good. All right. Okay, I'm 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 alive. I forgot about that creature. I was gonna say. Uh, by the way, it's a little weird because I did restart my stream. I didn't start just now, by the way. If you're on Twitch, or whatever, I did had to restart my stream because um, there was a power out. It's gonna be weird to edit on YouTube, but anyway. Uh, let's see here. I need to yeah, I need to rest up. Oop. It's weird because it says, it says on stream probably I started like 10 minutes ago, but it's not. It's, like, it's weird because if you started watching now, be, there's no context for any of this. <laughs> but I did start like hours ago and then I had to restart. I'll probably be done. Well, after this chapter, probably I'll be done with the stream, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Anyway. Those spikes are scary. <laughs> Is there a way to turn them off? Maybe I, I don't know. I thought I turned the switch to turn it off, but it, no, I kept going. Anyway, let's just eat a few things. Yeah, Acorn, you're lost. Yeah, I'll probably put this all on YouTube later as well, the entire playthrough anyway. It's still... I don't think it's uploaded yet. I think it's pretty soon though. I'll probably start uploading the YouTube videos. Again, hopefully the recording is fine. It's really sad. Today was a... Today was really bad luck. You know, this entire dungeon in general is bad luck. Because I got really stuck in a bunch of puzzles. And not only that, my power went out. <laughs> you know, it's like, this is a bad day for streaming this this game. Um, but hopefully the recording is okay. I can edit those parts out for YouTube. Anyway, let's do the boss fight after checking this garbage. Because just double check if there's anything here in the dungeon. Okay, no, nothing else. Right, just double check the map. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll, I was here on this floor before, actually. But this is on the other side. Alright, I guess if I the boss fight now, let's see. I mean, well, there's nothing to do except just just fight it, you know. Hello? Oh, I need to go up one more stage though. My character's gonna get old. Oh no, they're old. They're all old. They're middle aged. That's how it works because they're clones. VIP deck, here's the Zonky door. What does this say? Uh, schedules are in here, staff rooms are here. Oh, it's just a staff room. Uh, are you gonna be in that YouTube video? I mean, sort of. The thing, I don't have like a chat overlay, but you know, I keep mostly everything. When I, when someone does chat live, 
I do read their message and sometimes, you know, I say it on the YouTube video, I guess. Is it gonna break this? Or do I need like a Cleon to do this somehow? Um Haya! I never used this, but And it did nothing. Okay. Well, I, I guess I need something stronger maybe. You got some corruption though, that's not great. Oh well. We'll fight the boss instead. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, the speaking of chat overlay, you know, some, you know, the thing is, like, sometimes, I gotta be, I'm gonna be, like, honest, like, sometimes when I stream, nobody chats. Sometimes. You know? So it's like, that's why I don't have a chat overlay. Um, but when sometimes people do chat, it's kind of, like, weird, so, because, you know, there's no, because it feels like I'm responding to, like, if you're on YouTube anyway, it feels like I'm responding to something you can't see. So that's why I usually try to kind of, like, read it out loud, but, I don't know, it depends, I guess. I don't know, I just don't have a chat overlay, though. Well, this is a door. The machine part must lie beyond it. And so, as usual, the boss creature along with it. Uh... Finally! We've been attacked by Kuroske so many times, I've gotten used to being on higher alert all the time. Uh, don't let your guard down. It's still over we all get wiped out. Uh, Agreed. It seems like you've been taking your own lives and love lightly. Eradicate. My mission is to eradicate all clones. Uh, Yuma. Haruto Higurashi looks directly into my eyes as he speaks. If you truly intend on fulfilling Renji Mashiro's last wish, I think we'll easily perish here. Maybe we'd be better to restrain you, but I'm going to trust you here. You and all the time we spent together. What do I do? Until now, everything was fine as long as I had done as the president ordered. What do I live for in this world? In this world where Mashiro and my father do not exist. Alright. The door should be should be open if we just use, if I just use this. Wait, I need to mentally prepare myself. Yeah, yeah. You just said you're used to being on high alert. Kuroske might catch up to us if we don't get a move on. Zen Kubota opens the door without waiting for Ryo Mikajime to get ready, or Mikajime. The intricate mechanisms begin moving and the door slowly opens. Alright, hopefully we... Oh god, there's like electricity? Really? How am I supposed to do this? You just get hit like a whole bunch? Looks like the creature's not around. Boy. Hey Zen, you should be more careful. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, well, this is uh, Yuma's mother, actually, that we're fighting. Or... Mm -hmm. Maybe? Or I was confusing. Anyway. Hmm? I thought I heard a voice over there. Oh, okay, that's what... Oh, oh god. It's Quaylog. Sort of. Okay, that, now this is Yuma's mother. Okay. I was wondering if we could fight Renji, though, you know? This is a weird face at the bottom there. From behind? Ah. An ambush, huh? Did you set this up, madam? All I managed to do is shake my head in denial. I'm so preoccupied with the creature that just appeared, I momentarily forgot how to speak. What is that creature? It's so big, it's big all over. Yeah. Forget its size. His human own parts, don't they look like Yuma? You're right. Her face so looks sort of like Yuma's. Like Yuma? So that's... Yuma's mother? No. Not quite. That's not quite it. This creature... I don't like the way it pulsates at the bottom there. Uh, uh, Acorn, tentacle anime girl monster. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good thing. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Father? <laughs> what? Don't tell me. You must parents fuse into one creature. Oh, is that how it is? Like, oh, they're both together. <laughs> okay. Hmm. How's that work? I guess, well, I'm thinking like maybe Renji's body... Like they took Ren the doctor, the crazy doctor, Terashima, I think, took his corpse and then uh, put it together with his wife. And so it created this abomination. <laughs> okay. But that's impossible. Because they... They both died before the world ended. They passed away, leaving me behind. Did their clones turn into a single creature? 
like that video we saw on Extend TV. Whatever it is, it looks like it wants to kill us. Well, we can't turn back now. Let's press forward and attack. Must we kill our friend's family again? Like we did with Zen's and Minamo's. Renko. Are you still being naive? You knew this was gonna happen. There's only one thing you can do, but it's up to Madame to decide. Me. Fulfill my father's wish or live with the others. Yuma, live on with us. Yuma! But I... My mission... A doll wouldn't be able to hesitate like you are now. I see. That was it. That was it all along. Why did it take me so long to realize something so simple? Obtain all the machine parts. That is our mission. Is that right, Haruto Higarashi? Yes. That's exactly right. Yuma! That's more like it. Okay, everyone, let's run away! <laughs> the power of friendship! Run away! Yeah! I stopped being a doll a long time ago because I'm able to make or break my own decisions. Alright, time to run away! Alright, into the electricity. Ow. Ow. Okay, go over here maybe? Um, uh, um, oh, there's a monster here, what the heck? Get out of here! Uh, uh, the door is shut, uh, that door, that wall is broken, I don't know what to do exactly. That monster is taking one damage, okay, I think. I think, I don't know what to do exactly, to be honest. There's a wall here. Just broken walls you can break, maybe? Mm, I don't know. I don't want to stand in there, obviously. I could close the door. <laughs> I don't want to close the door because I'm going to come here anyway. Uh-oh. Okay, there's probably AoE. The boss probably has AoE attacks, so I would to be careful. I don't know how big the AoEs are, though. Okay, don't stand in front of it, probably. Probably a good idea. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to also stand in front of it. Oh my god, ow. Okay, a little of that. That's good. Mm hmm. Probably do charge attacks off you. Oh, oh my god, she's freaking dead. Okay, well, I gotta change my party members now because multiple people are dead already. Um, I guess Mimo here, and then this is gonna suck. That's fine. Well, whatever, just do that. Yes. Is that freaking like, like what is that attack? I don't know how how do you get Yuma's dead. <laughs> freaking Yuma's dead. That's not great. I think my entire party is gonna get wiped out. Probably, most likely. Because I don't know exactly how to dodge that. You know, unless you go behind her or something. Who cares about stamina at this part? Just, just whatever. I can also attack the legs, I guess? That's the thing I can do. Oh my god. I'm thinking, like, just stay behind her, you know? Maybe that's the plan? Also, get rid of his arm. Like, get rid of that arm as well. I'm thinking, like, getting rid of that arm will also get rid of her poison attacks, too. So at least if I take care of that, maybe I won't get killed as easily. Oh, Rinko's paralyzed, so that's not good. Okay, attack the legs. Okay, that also gets rid of that. Attacking the parts of the boss? I mean, for one, drops Cleons, I guess, which is good. But also, uh... Gets rid of their attacks, which I imagine is a good idea. So I'm just gonna stay behind her the entire time. Let's do that. And doesn't look like anything else to do around here. Uh, for in, term, in terms of breaking parts, maybe you stand right in front of him, maybe? I don't want to do that, though. And we're almost dead. Alright. Mm, oh, mm. eh. Okay, I mean, we're alive, so we just need to do this the entire time. Just this little dance. Remember how they said something about dancing? 
That's what we're doing. Brinko is just useless, by the way. She can't hit anything. She's paralyzed, so. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Ugh. Um, a lot of party members are just dead, but that's fine. You know, cutscene-wise, they're still alive. Let's just pretend that they're not really dead. Ga the gameplay-wise, they're dead, but like in the story, you know, they're they're just really injured. Let's just pretend that we did it. Let's find that machine part. Yeah. Are you okay, Yuma? Yes. Let's move on. I thought I heard a lock opening somewhere. I think about all of these painful things later, because my time will continue on. Ugh. Alright, well... I drop a lot of items here though, unfortunately. I guess I'll grab the Cleons first. We'll just have the Cleons. Just because we'll bring them back to base. Well, I'll definitely need to collect these later. I'll have to come back here, which is not great. Um... What do you have space for, Mamoru? Probably rest up. I don't know if it matters, but I'll probably rest up as well. Oh, a shot? Well, it's not really shot. You know, it's not shot at all. Uh, let's see. Can he carry everything? I want to get the weapons at least. Let's see here. I got 2,000? 2,000. Mm, 2, oh, yeah, on uh, YouTube? Yeah, that, that's what I've noticed actually on YouTube. Uh,. Apparently, I got 2,000 subscribers or whatever. That's that's cool. I, mean, I don't know if it means anything, you know. Subscribers on YouTube. I mean, I mean that's 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 good. You know, it's not like it's a bad thing. I feel like though, most subscribers just come for uh, like, for whatever. I don't know. YouTube is a mysterious place, but like I feel like a lot of people subscribe uh, when they see like particular videos that blow up. I think I recently, you know, to be like meta i guess uh a lot of my perfect apocalypse uh, uh videos with that playthrough in particular got popular recently i think or something and people will subscribe from that i guess or whatever i get i assume that's what happened anyway let's see do i have space for anything else i could drop some stuff but hmm. i don't know but i don't really i don't really look at the numbers all that much you know there's really no, not that it doesn't mean anything at all, but, you know, I appreciate it, but... It's just that, uh... The numbers by itself, you know... Doesn't, uh... You know... Mean that, like, oh, suddenly I have a million dollars now, you know? <laughs> this is what you think of, right? You're, you're a famous YouTuber, right? you get the, you a million dollars. No, it doesn't mean much. In that sense. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how YouTube works. Personally, I I prefer, you know, I don't know. I mean, there's I don't know there's a way to calculate it necessarily, put it into numbers, but you know, I prefer people just watch my stuff if they like it, you know. It's, you know, it's just engage with my content, and that's cool, you know. That's all I need. I don't need like numbers in particular to say that. Anyway, I have this thing. I don't know. Should I pick up now? It's an aquamarine. I don't know if it means anything. I guess so. I don't know. I mean, I'll pick up all this later anyway, so I'll just drop this raggedy old jacket first. So I'll grab that later. There's a lot of, a lot of these things as well. A lot of these, like, hmm. A lot of these, uh, upgrade stuff for weapons. But I can't pick it up right now because all my people are dead. Unless I want to go back real quick. I don't want to do that right now because... All the way back and back here. I guess I'll just, I'll just continue the story for now. And then the next chapter will open up and I'll probably grab this all off screen maybe. We'll see. Anyway. The F button. Woohoo! We got four parts now. Ouchie! <laughs> I stubbed my pinky toe. Oh, that really sucks. The pinky as well? It's often I... Yeah. Definitely stub my pinky toe sometimes. Pinky toe. Well do, you, well, do you call it pinky toe? Big toe? Your pinky? I guess you call it all... To anyway. Whatever. Uh, calm down, Sasha. Are you okay? Yeah, but I dropped the part and it wrote behind the machine. My, my, I'll get it. Hmm? 
Dr. Ichio, did you find the machine part? <laughs> machine? Oh, yes, here. Mamoru? Oh, good. Sorry, Mamoru. Yeah. Uh, good work, everyone. My Cleon made quick work of him as usual. We didn't, I didn't use your Cleon. I guess it's implied that you did, I guess, in the gameplay. <laughs> the way you take credit for others reminds me of a little something from him. Extend TV or someone from Extend TV. Oh, was your name Sho Mikajime? Don't compare me to him. Uh, Sheesh, can't you all wait until we get back to the island before you start goofing off? Yes, let's get back to Garage Island. We should be careful not to run to Kurosuke. Is that fine with you too, Yuma? Yeah. Yes, if you all still consider me as part of your group. <gasps> of course we do! Rinko Suzukino takes my right hand in hers, then Sechuga Hirosuka holds my other. Yuma? Let's go home together, Yuma. The two lead the way. My arm hurts. Probably because I got you know, murdered by my parents in that, in that fight, but, but it tickles me somewhat too. And there you go. She was like, I'm gonna betray everyone, but as it turns out, she doesn't betray everyone, and we're all good. Well, apparently, you see all that little scene there? Mamoru seemed to have found something while he was looking for the machine part. That was weird. You know, he's like, hmm, he, he saw something and he didn't, he didn't mention it to anyone else, though. Anyway. The Belle Moi floats on the moonlight sea. We're able to return once again back to our home. Yuma, are you sure you're okay with not fulfilling your father's wish? I deliberate over Haruto Higurashi's question and slowly reveal my inner thoughts. In the end, I cannot kill you and the others. I cannot complete my mission. I do not know if that was the right thing to do for Mashiro. However, I, Yuma Mashiro, was able to make a choice. I chose what's important to me now and who I want to continue living with. I do not regret my decision. The choice was mine and mine alone. So from now on, yes, now and forever, <laughs> please continue supporting this humble aristocrat. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you're back to your usual self. Hmm, there's the Yuma we know. They all laugh. I laugh along with them. But it's not a fake smile I put on. It is genuine laughter in the bottom of my heart. Oh? Dr. Mamoru? Something wrong? You've been quiet. Uh... Oh, no it's nothing. Also... You have a cloud hanging over your head. It obviously isn't nothing. So yeah, what's the matter? Mm... There's something I'd like to ask you, Yuma. It's about the creature that looked like your parents. Was that really them? Yeah. I do not know. But the creature's face looked exactly like my mother's, and it spoke just like both of them. <laughs> they both passed away before you woke up on this island, right? Yeah. Yes, just as you saw on Extend TV. Though I do not know what happened to either of their bodies. I was kidnapped and woke up on Garage Island before we could have my father's funeral. Then that creature may have been the result of a Cleon infesting your parents' corpses. Mani was founded by Mashiro Group, so it'd be easy for them to preserve the bodies. So, yes, I'm sure. You don't sound so convinced. What is it? Well... I found this near the extend machine on the ship. He shows us a discolored piece of loose-leaf notebook paper. The page is filled with tiny but detailed handwriting. What's that? Something like the no Zen found? No, it seems to be a memo left by a Mani scientist. Some piece of research notes. Notes for the creature research, that is. What? What does it say? Uh... It's a bit all over the place, but I'll read the part that caught my attention. Creature mutation. Changes the body, characteristics, and behavior are based on the original memories. Um, example. In case of a creature with emphasized memories related to a convenience store. <laughs> That's a weird example. Regardless of the original, the creature acted like a store clerk operating a cash register. Key point, a creature's individual differences depend on which memories are emphasized. We should be able to selectively highlight certain memories, setting and simulation are key factors. Control over the creatures, aim for selective mutation, clue toward Cleon humans. Record as Manny's new point of research. Mm. And that's it. <laughs> uh, I don't really get it. Um, my creatures' appearance and behavior are affected by memories from when they were living. This was about controlling those effects, but what was all that about emphasizing memories? Mm. Creatures repeat the same phrases over and over. Maybe that's what it's talking about? <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> you want to ask Madden if those scribbles are real? Doesn't seem like she'd know. Yeah. No, I... Yeah. That's not it. 
I just thought it was phrased strangely. It's almost like there's a separate original body somewhere else. That's why I asked Yuma if that creature truly was her parents. No, not just in her case. If Haruto, Zen, and Minamo's creatures too. Maybe. Maybe they were just clones. And the real geezer is somewhere else. So Hiroku could be... He could be alive somewhere too? Could that be true? I'm not so sure. A separate original. Emphasizing memories. Okay, well, the creature is like, Yuma, come here, come here. Destroy clones, ah. <laughs> huh? Ah, could it be? The creatures, their true identities are... Or what? Don't just, <laughs> just leave me in a cliffhanger. Yuma, does your chest hurt? I'm fine. It is nothing. I press my hand against my chest and take a deep breath. I hope I am wrong, but if my theory is right, it means we have been rep repeating pointless efforts over and over again, just like Sisyphus. Sisyphus? I don't know who Sif Sisyphus is. Like a, I mean, some kind of historical figure, maybe? Or like a fictional character? Mm, you know? I don't know. Nah. We, 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 there was that translation we had to do for like uh, the jewel, you know? The gift of... Quintilis or whatever? So is that like a Roman or Greek god? Anyway. Well, it's nothing more than conjecture. I hesitated to bring it up because I didn't want to inspire false hope without evidence. I see. Yeah. I, I apologize. I seem to ruin the happy mood. Well, I do wonder about the creatures. But we're not going to figure it out today. It's getting late. So why don't we get some rest? Yeah, okay. Oh, I skipped, I skipped her voice. Oh well. And Missy here is getting sleepy too. I am not. I was just checking my wrist, not yawning. That was another tough fight, so look at some, let's get some sleep. We need to put in the machine part too. Oh, then I'll take care of it. I just need to stick it in, right? Yes, stick it in. Be sure not to put it in the wrong hole. Don't say it like that. <laughs> okay then, let's call it a day. Rest up and recover your energy. Everyone nods and returns to their rooms in twos and threes. I wait till they all leave, then turn toward the Bell Maw one more time. Mashiro Pride was nothing more than an excuse. I ate because I wanted you to love me. I ate because I wanted to be you. But I know what I want now. I will choose this path and will continue living with the others. This is not a parting, but my oath. Sayonara, Otosama. Okay. Huh? What's going on, Rio? Haha, Oyaka. Yoreno Oreo Aishte Kurete Itanokane. Alright. As I head towards, I guess the next chapter is gonna be focusing on Rio, maybe. And his weird bondage fetish. I don't know, man. I don't know why he's a bondage thing. That'll be the next chapter, I guess. I guess let's watch the introduction at least. おやという存在そのものが俺の人生には無縁のものだった。父親に捨てられた可哀想な子供。母親に愛されなかった可哀想な子供。俺をそんな目で見る奴もいた。でも施設にはそんな奴らがゴロゴロいたし。自分は特別なんかじゃなかった。親がいないことで特別不幸な目にあったこともない。だから親を恨む気持ちにもなれなかった。それに同情も憐れみも慣れればそう悪いもんじゃない。少なくともその瞬間は俺のことを気にかけて
ominous. He's an orphan, I guess. That's something I didn't know before. Hey, my kitten, my kitten, and hey, my kitten, my dearie. Such a sweet pet, a sweet pet as this, there's not far nor nearly. Here we go up, up, up. Here we go down, down, downy. Downy? You can't say downy. <laughs> Here we go backwards and forwards. And here we go round, round, roundy. What? You can't just add Y at the end of like a rhyme. That's cheating. Anyway. I appear in the world through the view founder and snap a photo. Okay, I, I gotta do a real voice now. So he sounds like this, you know? Yeah. I've been secretly taking pictures every time new ruins drift in. I'm more like pretending to take pictures or more pretending to take pictures. <laughs> that should do it. I don't have a single roll of film for my instant camera. The optical viewfinder is usable without power, but I don't have any batteries in the first place. So the image within the little square is only stored inside my head. Hmm. What sucks about imaginary cameras is that you can't share your memories with others. But by pretending to take photos, it feels like I'm engraving the scenery deeper into my brain. Real, there you are. Uh? Oh, Haruto, stop! Yo. I didn't see you at the garage, so I came to get you. What are you doing out here? Wait, are those new ruins? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> I found these ones before everyone else. It must be another place related to one of us. The only ones left are Dr. Ichio, Rinko, Sachika, and... Me. I sigh. Even though it's not my turn, I'm sick of all these sad memories. It's probably not me, though. I don't recognize them at all. Well, I mean... It is you, though? Because every time we go to a new chapter, we always change our perspectives to one of the characters, and so... It's probably real chapter, obviously. Are you sure? For now, yeah, though I'm not 100% sure. They must be one of the other three. Arto looks away as if deep in thought, but I can tell he's still checking my expression. Seems like he wants to ask more, but he's being considerate. An Irish guy, for better or worse. I don't know why, but I just want to go crazy my ropes later. Huh? Yeah, nothing. You came to get me, right? Let's get to the garage. The TV should be turning on soon. Yeah, let's go. I guess we'll see whose ruins they're on soon enough. I nod, but I suddenly feel anxious for some reason. I make myself walk with a bounce in my step. Maybe deep down I know. The ruins that had just drifted in are where I once lived. Alright, so he does recognize it. We can expect it, but you know, well. We can just go up by ourselves? I don't know if we, could, I don't know if we should do that. We have an option to do that, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Alright. See here, I guess. You know, we'll see. We'll see what's up. We got a new function for the extend machine, right? So, I wonder what it is. Wow. You're late, sleepyhead. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it was on the john. Been a little clogged up recently. Naruhodo. Is that so? That's a bit concerning. Can you tell me more? If you haven't flushed, I'd like to inspect your excrement carefully. <laughs> no, I already flushed, and I want you staring at it. If I, it was just a joke. <laughs> oh, so you haven't been issues your instrument. I'm relieved. Uh... You know, I ain't big on using that phrase. Just weirds me out. You gotta say it all right. It's poop. You know, unko. In Japanese, it's unko. <laughs> mm, that's where you decided to join the conversation? Mm. Mm, Sachika can go either way. What about you, Rinko? Ah, uh, hmm, Sachika, you shouldn't talk about things like that. What? This is important! Managing your excrement isn't like managing your health as a whole! Now don't be shy, go ahead and say it! Uh, I... <laughs> you guys done? Rio, if you keep it up, I'll scare you under the crops of the rest of the, rest of the waste. Okay, why is he just so hostile sometimes? Yeah, I'm sorry! Hmm. I would say I'm definitely on Team Poo. Stop, please! I'm sorry we're telling such a stupid joke! Anyway, the extend machine. They got a new feature, right? What was it this time? Another game or something? Yeah. A feature called Silbers was added to everybody's X key. Everyone's except Sachika's to be exact. Yeah. Besides Sachika, what's it do? Uh. It unleashes our Cleon's powers beyond his limits if we're in a fully aged state, supposedly. Sorry. So it makes us stronger when we're on old farts? That was pretty useful. Now why don't you give it a shot? You can only use it on the last day of your life expectancy in exchange for your life. Aww. Oh, why can't you just make us stronger? 
The asshole that made us that made this is gonna be go me go bald with stress. <laughs> you will go bald anyway. We've seen it multiple times already. <laughs> I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> but I don't have the aging effect, so I guess I can't use that feature. Too bad. I would have been more useful if I could. So that's why everyone's everyone but Satchel can use it. Uh, who cares? It's better you can't use a shitty feature like that anyway. Now that I think about it, Sachiko's Elsky is a bit different from ours. I wonder if that has to do with our memory of Sachiko getting killed. Never mind. Thinking is Haruto's job. Okay, I can use Silbers, which I assume is like you sacrifice your character to use like a super, you know, powered up Cleon attack, but they just die from using it, I guess. Or something. Hmm. Once it's learned, using a Cleon on the final day of a character's life expectancy will activate Silbers. Huh? Hmm. So you're on team shit, Ryo. Look <laughs> at shit. Which is Kuso, I guess. Uh, we're done with the discussion. We've got two more buttonholes left. Wish the ruins would come in so we get them over with. <sighs> Too bad they'll be bringing someone's private memories along with them. Huh? Oh, I saw the ruins dripping already. That's actually why I was late. How is it already here? Wait, why did you tell us earlier? Oh, <sighs> because you're so busy talking about number two. And then it happens. Everyone, the TV just turned on. The sound we heard many times since we began living in Garage Island. No matter how many times I hear it, it still makes me sick. That TV never shows anything but bad news. Alright. Silbers, though, tutorial. It's a skill that can be used on the final day of the senior growth stage. Can we learn to learn skill menu? Oh, I gotta learn it. If a character with the skill has a clean out transplant activates a clean out effect, they will enter a Silbers mode, allowing them to attack with tentacles. Life will drain gradually, and when it reaches zero, they'll explode and dare damage nearby enemies. This ability can only be used on last day of a user's life expectancy. <laughs> okay, see, so, ah, ah, last final attack, I guess. Kind of morbid, actually, you know. But I guess uh, that's the point. Uh, but there you go. So we're starting the Rio chapter. Um. And, well, before I touch the TV, though, I, I would like to get everything in order, you know? Just, like, revive my people. Well, well they are revived, actually, I think. Yeah, they are revived already automatically. I also need to get my stuff, you know, and everything. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably do that off-screen. So I'll do, so let me just save for now. And then I'll continue on next time. And maybe learn a bit more about Ryo. You know, he's kind of a guy of the butt monkey. I also don't take him all that seriously, but I, uh, you know, everyone has a backstory, you know. Everyone has a tragic past, I feel like, in, the, uh, you know, uh, in this entire group. That's kind of the point, you know. If, they don't, if they're all flat characters, then it wouldn't be any fun, would it? But I guess we'll see what he's about.